வெயிட் குறையுதா கூடுமே நார்மலா யூஸ் போனா இல்ல எக்ஸ்ட்ரா 10000 ஸ்டெப்ஸ் நடக்கறேன் ஓ நடக்கிறதுனால அந்த ஹைக்கிங் நடக்கிறதுனால ஓகே இந்தியால 10000 ஸ்டெப்ஸ் இங்க 20000 ஸ்டெப்ஸ் அங்க இங்க வந்து গ্যাப் கிடையாது இல்ல அவ்வளவு தூரம் ஸ்பேஸ் கிடையாது இல்ல இங்க எல்லா நேரமும் நடக்கலாம் வெதர் நல்லா இருக்கும் இப்போ அதோட இல்ல உங்களுக்கு இங்க ஹைக்கிங்லாம் இல்ல நம்ம போணும்னா ரொம்ப கிலோமீட்டர் தாண்டி தான் போணும் ஆல் தி பெஸ்ட் Welcome, thank you, thank you. Chandra? Chandra? Yes, ma'am. Can we start? Or we'll wait for a few more minutes. Yes, ma'am. I think uh, we can start, ma'am. Sir, how about you? Yes, yeah, sir. Shall we start? No, no. Jod, Jod, Jod. Jod, 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 Jod. This announcement is electronic. That's why we have to manage the management. Actually, the announcement is not, sir. That's why we have to manage the management. Yeah, go ahead. It's from my side, actually. Shall we start, sir? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Shall I, ma'am? Shall I begin? Yes, yes, sir, Kila. Yes. Very good morning to one and all gathered here. On behalf of Bharti Dasan Government College for Women Positivity... Shall we and... start, sir? Shall we start, sir? Shall we start, sir? Madam, please, sir, Mr. Kila. Very good Bhanga. morning to one and all gathered here. On behalf of Bharti Dasan Government College for Women Puducherry and Internal Quality Assurance Cell, we are so happy to welcome all the dignitaries and all the participants to this faculty enrichment program online seminar on Ikigai for Professional Excellence, a mandate for teachers in tertiary education. A Japanese concept, Ikigai, is a motivational force, something or someone that gives a person a sense of purpose or a reason for living. It also means that something that brings pleasure or fulfillment or something that makes life worth living. In Japanese, Ikigai means feeling of accomplishment and fulfillment that follows when people pursue their passion. This Ikigai is not an enforced one, but it is already there in all our minds. In this present scenario, we are really in need of having ikigai and it is important for any kind of profession especially for teachers to, to facilitate their students in their learning process through motivation and courage to create the new world today we are so happy to have our resource person and the keynote speaker mr muthaya ramanathan corporate trainer and a counselor who is presently working in California, USA, to enrich the minds of the teachers with Ikigai, which is spontaneously being pursued in all our inner self. Let us begin this faculty enrichment program of today with the formal welcome address. Florence Letaya said, giving encouragement to others is the most welcoming gift for the result of it or lifted spirit, increased self-worth, and a hopeful future. I request our respected madam, Dr. V. Raji Shugumar, the principal of Bharti Dasan Government College for Women, to welcome the gathering. Button turn, button turn off. I think ma'am has some network issues. Let's wait for her to join. Oh. Yes, yeah. yes. Thank yes. you, Dr. Rakila Deshwari. Yes, Happy morning to all. On behalf of the students, ministerial staff, and the teaching faculty of Bharti Dasan Government College for Women, and on behalf of myself, I take pleasure in welcoming the guest speaker for the day, Mr. Muttaya Ramanathan. He is a non academic, basically a corporate trainer and counselor based in Chennai. Though an economics person, he developed passion towards psychology and took it as his career. He is a voracious reader from my observation. He is known to me for the past 10 months and I was just overwhelmed by his reading habit. So far, I have listened at least more than a dozen of his uh, speeches and the review of psychology books. 
Yes, and he has authored a few books. I think Akhil Andreshri will be uh, give him the full details yes. of his uh, personal profile. So, sir, on my behalf, I welcome you, sir, and my hearty welcome to the participants of this program representing our college, other colleges in Pondicherry, and our neighboring state of Tamil Nadu. Welcome you all. The idea behind this went, uh, it, uh, this event was to keep our teachers engaged and motivated. Teachers need to be more recognized and more highly valued. They are essential participants in defining the future of our education and future of our students and the destiny of our nation. Today, it is clear that nothing can substitute the collaboration between teachers whose function is not to apply ready-made technologies or pre-prepared didactics, but to fully assume their role as knowledge enablers and pedagogic guides. Teacher collaboration should also be understood as expanding to include engagement with a wide set of education stakeholders, particularly because in this crisis, those education systems most engaged with families and communities have shown the most resilience. Our National Education Program of 2020 envisages this. Our teachers experience discomfort with a sudden disquietude with the pandemic of COVID-19 that seized the normalcy since 2020. Stress, depression, sleeplessness, disruption, in interpersonal relationship within the family and within the colleagues, in the workspace, and uh, to get uh, uh, tuned with the demanding uh, online uh, education and then online gadgets, appropriate gadgets, it was a big uh, challenge to us. And it, in fact, it haunted in many among uh, many of our teachers. Therefore, Safeguarding the mental health of teachers by coping the crisis was considered as a primary importance. In this backdrop, the internal quality assurance cell of our college designed to have a series of motivational programs under the head faculty engagement program. Today's event is the first in this series. The title is Ikigai for Professional Excellence, a mandate for teachers in tertiary education. Um, as you all know, it is an all-purpose term. It's a Japanese term, and our guest speaker will elaborate on that. In fact, yesterday I happened to listen to his lecture on the same topic, but the target audience was a common and not <coughs> teachers. Today, he will, will be addressing uh, exclusively for teachers. We as teachers need to learn to survive amidst inadequacies, adversaries, and mediocrities. It is evident that we cannot return to the world as it was before COVID-19. But let us affirm that it may be a way better in the years to come and tune our mental state to the change it demands. Now we have the challenge of implementing the National Education Policy of 2020, for which our preparedness is important and imperative. Before I end my note, I extend my appreciation to K.S. Suresh, Associate Professor and, uh, and the Coordinator of Internal Quality Assurance Cell, uh, Dr. Akilam Deshri Srinivasan, Assistant Professor, Dr. N. Chandra, Assistant Professor, all of them from the English Department of our college. And I also extend my thanks to all those who are directly or indirectly made this program possible. With this note, over to Akila Deshwari. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the warm welcoming address and, the, and for describing the scope of today's program. Let us move ahead to introduce our chief guest. Actually, Crowe Cleveland said, unswerving loyalty to duty, constant devotion to truth, and a clear consigned will overcome every discouragement and surely be the way to usefulness and high achievements. I am so delighted and happy to introduce our resource person and the keynote speaker, Mr. Muttaya Ramanathan. Mr. Muttaya Ramanathan is a corporate trainer and a counselor who is presently working in California, USA. He has served as the president of Hypnotic Circle in Chennai for 15 years. He is a certified trainer from the National Federation of NLP Florida and American Board of NLP, Nevada, USA. He has presented thousands of training programs and well-trained lakhs of people in self-development in, in, in all over India around 30 years. And more than that, 
hundreds of his videos were made available in the YouTube channel Mind Dynamics Tamil. His course on transactional analysis and hypnosis, both in Tamil and English, are made available in the International Educational Forum, udemy.com. He has written two books, namely Parts of Unconscious Mind and Hypnosis and How to Score More Than 90% in Exam. He is specialized in hypnosis, transactional analysis, neuro linguistic programming, and psychology. It is really our immense pleasure and also a proud moment to invite Dr. Mr. Muthaya Ramanathan to deliver the keynote address and also to lead the technical session. Now over to sir. Sir, please uh, you unmute your mic. Oh. I am technologically no voice. Thanks for reminding me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Extend a warm welcome to all the people over here. Because now I am in California, 10 degrees Celsius. So warm welcome is absolutely okay with me. Good. And by the way, thank you very much to Principal uh, Madam Raji and uh, uh, Madam Akilante Shuri and all the other English faculty. I studied in T Nagar High School, T Nagar an ordinary school in Chennai in Tamil medium. And then I studied in Pachepas College, an ordinary college or notorious college in Chennai. And by and by, I picked up psychology. That's a different story. I somehow managed to speak in English. That's a different story. English teacher, pardon my English, uh, with the way in which, with the flow with which I speak, uh, and it may not be grammatically correct, uh, but then uh, the sense or the idea will be useful to people. Right? So, and uh, Joe Willie, we used to say, uh, very easy to teach children or students because students come to school and college or educational institutions to study. Very difficult to teach the teacher because teachers never want to learn, they only want to teach. So my job is all the more difficult because I got about 80 teachers here and I got to teach them. I do not know how I'm going to do. Let's see. Uh, Ikigai also talks about challenges. So this is going to be a challenge for me. and. Uh, See, uh, how do we go about, right? And uh, Ikigai, and they call it as Ikigai, E-E-K-E-E -E -E and G-U-Y, Ikigai. But then it is very comfortable talking as, uh, as if it is Ikigai from Indian context. So Indian pronunciation, we will make it Ikigai only, right? So be, uh, that way will be more comfortable. And uh, the authors are uh, Hector Garcia Puig Server. Hector H E C T O R Hector Garcia G A R C I A Puig Puig Server P U I G C E R B E R and along with his friend Francis Mirai F R I N C E S C Francis Mirai M M M I R A L L I E S Francis Mirai and Francis Mirai was in uh, in Japan and uh, our uh, Hector Garcia was in Spain. And one day he visits Tokyo and then he gets to meet uh, Francisco over there. And then uh, they were uh, animatedly talking about self-development and psychology. And then uh, once again, uh, our Hector Garcia comes back to Spain. And then uh, next year, he also, once again, he goes to Tokyo. And then once again, he gets to meet Francisco Mirai there. And then uh, they were uh, once again talking interestingly. And then they covered a lot of areas in psychology, psychotherapy, self-development problems, and all those things. Uh, by and by, they were talking about logotherapy of uh, uh, Viktor Frankl, a Jewish psychiatrist who was in the Nazi concentration camp. Uh, and then he suffered there. And then uh, he created a meaning for his existence. And then he survived. And then he came out and wrote a book called the Meaning of Life. Wonderful book, hardly 80 pages. Uh, and... Uh, it talks everything about whatever has happened in the concentration camp. So, and then after that, they buy a meaning for existence, meaning for life. And then uh, they came over to Ikigai. When they were talking about Ikigai, suddenly there was a spark or a connectivity or an enthusiasm in both the people's eyes. And uh, they started, uh, they said, we will do some more research about it. And then when they were exploring and being curious and being inquisitive and being psychology-oriented people, 
they went about uh, what makes people live longer and they come across okinawa o k i n a w a okinawa an island a little island in uh, japan wherein there are about 4 lakhs people of the 4 lakhs people nearly 25% of the people meaning more than 1 lakh people were 100 years and more than 100 years 25% of the population of 4 lakhs they were all very healthy they were all happy and no sickness or no illness or no cardiac problems no cancer and no dementia no alzheimers no ulcer related issues no inflammatory issues where women did not have any menopausal issues no memory loss at all everyone was active everyone was agile everyone was moving everyone was dynamic and 100 plus they were all happy and they say we don't even know whether, uh, whether uh, we have crossed 100 and many uh, many a time we don't know uh, they don't even know the date of birth also they were 100 plus but they do not know the date of birth also so these people how come these people are so healthy and live longer also happy also active also and then uh, they checked up on several areas they, uh, that uh, that was called as blue zone blue zone is uh, the entire map of the 200 countries and uh, about uh, 775 crores of people in the world it so happens uh, five areas are called blue zones wherein people lot of people live above 100 years and one of them is called sardinia in italy and another one is costa rica some place in costa rica another one here in my area california and um, by the way i came here to me uh, uh, play with my grandchildren i have four grandchildren my son and daughter are here i am uh, they're doing this online teaching and uh, online training that i do but now i'm not working in usa right i'm basically i'm in chennai i'm homesick i would like to uh, love to be in chennai coming back sardinia in italy and costa rica and california some city nearby and uh, Icaria in Greece and Okinawa and Ogimi in Japan. These are the five places where people are over 100 and no sickness at all. The quality of life is wonderful. Not that after 70, I need a walker and I have eye problems and I have ear problems. I have sickness, illness, being indisposed, not quite active and bedridden or some such. So quality of life is also wonderful. People were moving and enthusiastic and dynamic and connected. And they have social well-being also. They meet once in a while and they have a party and they enjoy their food. They help each other out. They call each other. They were always connected to people around in the, in the city. So these people by and by, they were working on it. And they were also once again surprised because uh, the Okinawa is known for very many things. And one of the things was... Uh, uh, in the Second World War, the bomb uh, blast, uh, and I don't know, Big, uh, Big Brothers, uh, Small Brothers, some name for the atom bombs dropped over there. With the result, nearly 2 lakhs of people died, and lots of people got affected in the World War. And before the World War, there was a, a war like, a battle like. Some other country person uh, with an army walked in, came over, they rounded up all the people in Okinawa, and then uh, the army chief, the opposing army chief, uh, and uh, he came with lots of weapons and all, surrounded the people of Okinawa, and they said, uh, you surrender all your weapons to me. And all of them started smiling. He says, uh, I am asking you to surrender your weapons, why are you smiling? We don't have any weapons. Without weapons, how will you fight with you? Fight with us. They said karate. Empty hand. Karate. Karate is the way. Then that's our weapon. Our hands are the weapons. You do whatever you want to with our hands like. So it's well known for karate number one. Affected by world war number two. More number of people above 100 living there uh, in that area. That's number three. These people were happy, long living, absolutely comfortable. And it's like a treasure map. Like uh, someone, uh, some treasure is hidden in some place or gold is available underneath or diamond is available underneath the earth uh, archaeological search like I mean, it's a treasure map like uh, okinawa is an area where it contains a lot of treasure telling us how to live long number one telling us how to he be healthy number two how to be how to be devoid of sicknesses and how to be active how to socially be connected with people around and no retirement at all nobody retires what is retirement? Retirement at 60 in India, all offices say 60 retire. When, uh, normally, jovially we say when uh, life expectancy was 30, 40 in India, 100 years back, people set a target saying at 60 you will retire. 
now life expectancy has gone up to 70 but still we still maintain that we are people retire at 60 which is a little you know in a way it's funny and jovial so the idea is uh, we, we need not have to retire at 60 and uh, they say no retirement at all and uh, they are very comfortable eating food uh, by and law they eat a lot of uh, uh, marine food like fishes and all and they eat only 80 percent of uh, filling up the stomach up and they they don't eat full and they create a fund and they have lots of groups lots and lots of groups like our Bharatas and college has got a group and uh, there is a management association there is an nipm there is a hrd network and uh, there is a quality control forum there's an advertisers club there are lots of social circuits available similarly and 10 people if 10 people have got a now, identical interest, they will all come together and form a team and then they'll create a fund and uh, they will make use of the fund once in a while to merry make and have fun and entertain and uh, have a party and all those things. And then whatever money is left at the end of the month, they will give it to some deserving person who, who is in need of money. Again, they will once again fund a lot more and then they will meet, they'll celebrate and uh, they will eat and they will uh, and then uh, have, a, have a lot of fun and then they will hand over the rest of the money to somebody who deserves. So in that context, social well-being was there, physical well-being was there, financial well-being was there, financial protection was given by other people. And uh, getting to know all these things, they said, how come you picked up this as your lifestyle? And that was the question in the mind of Hector Garcia and uh, our Francis Mirai. It so happened, they said, we follow Ikigai. And what is Ikigai? Na? And these people said, it's a way of living. And then the meaning of Ikigai is, uh, Iki means life. And uh, Gai means reason. Life could mean aliveness or motivating force or sense of purpose or a result or a fruit or a benefit. Madam Akhilan Dushri also covered, uh, gave a uh, beautiful introduction to Ikigai. That way, Gai is reason for living a purpose, a value, uh, a meaning for existence and what makes life worthwhile and a reason detailed. Meaning, this is the purpose, or this is the goal, this is the motto, this is my maxim, uh, uh, this is my prayer, like, uh, and with which I am living. So, you create a life purpose and with that life purpose, uh, you get oriented with other people and uh, because you have a sense of purpose and an aliveness, automatically everything gels. Mind and body, you know, body uh, are a mechanism of the same system. So if the body is not okay, mind will not be okay. If the mind is okay, body will be okay. Body is okay, mind will be okay. One impacts the other. In that context, these people are absolutely comfortable with their mind and their body. And Ikigai gave them all of them. Ikigai is a way of living, is a way of being. So having created a meaning and uh, having created a purpose uh, and feeling well connected and network with other people and uh, they by and by they are happy, healthy, wealthy, financially wealthy, psychologically wealthy, emotionally wealthy, intellectually wealthy and socially wealthy also. Right? And they say, couple of questions that they say and a couple of answers that they give. So the questions are, uh, what are your strengths? Think of what you do better than everybody else. Or what are you good at? What is your strength? Where do you excel? What comes naturally to you? That's the first question. What are your strengths? What are you good at? What, wherein you excel? And what comes naturally to you? That's the one question. The second question is, what does the world need? What does the world lack? What is the challenge of the world? What is the problems of the world, people in the community? So, uh, what it lacks and what it needs and what it wants and uh, what does it need in order to the, in order for the world to become a better place for the next generation to come or for us to live in? So that's the second question. And the third one being, what are your passions? Passion meaning tanya the dagam so long, pair arvam so long. Something you are passionate about, you are enthusiastic about, uh, and you forget your sleep, you forget your pain, you forget uh, your discomfort, you forget uh, uh, your hunger, you forget your thirst. You are totally involved, immersed, uh, getting into it. Arndhe, amandhe, moorki, poise, tuch prachural, marandhe, talima, valigal, tu kamalla, marandhe. You know, weir koru, udengi, or erathala, light, poy, arndhe, amandhe, poy, erupadan, tamalle chalwanga. That way, meditating area on chalo, focus chalo, attention chalo, and uh, being centered and that's what it is. 
so what are you passionate about what is your vision what is your goal what is the purpose what makes you get up in the morning uh, out of your bed what makes you jump out of the bed in the morning the moment you wake up what would you like to be doing the whole day how would you like to connect with people around where and how would you happily spend the rest of the time the whole entire day all these things are the third question and then the fourth one is how can you make a living out of connecting all these three so what is your strength what is your passion at about what are you passionate about and what does the world need yeah identifying these things I, now i know my strength i know i am passionate about certain thing and then uh, i also identify the world needs something now connecting all these three how can i play a role in such a way using my passion passionate mind and using my strength and it's the very what is missing whatever is not there uh, how do i fill the fill in the gap identify the gap and fill in the gap fulfill the needs of the world or the community at large and i also earn a living make a living uh, make it as my profession and uh, get a compensation or a salary or a pay or whatever so i identify my strength and then i am what am i passionate about and what does the world need i am connecting them and then i am making a living out of it my lifestyle becomes a focusing attention on satisfying the lack of the world or satisfying the needs of the world satisfying the desires or wants or wishes of the world and uh, using my passion a passionate mind using my strength i am fulfilling them so this is an area where uh, Okinawa comes into being, a hiki guy comes into being, and people are well connected. And in that context, what do you love? What are you good at? What the world needs, and how can you be valued for or paid for that? And then identifying the sweet spot. There is a particular spot wherein you are totally immersed in. So as Madam Raji was saying a little earlier. i studied economics in pachepa college but then i got to know a little later that uh, psychology is my profession and talking is the, something i love to do so that's the reason why i came into this field so psychology and self development and speaking always speaking always being uh, being in touch with people as an extrovert uh, like an introvert i am at home i have 10000 books uh, at home on all aspects of self development uh, if you look at my library you will think i am an introvert if you see me in action in a, in a training program you will think i am an extrovert i am an ambivert so 80% extrovert when i am talking 80% introvert when i am reading so i am a crazy character and uh, you can find more information about me not in general psychology books but in abnormal psychology books right coming back <clears throat> and uh, uh, all these things your strength and your passion and what the world needs and uh, you are making a living out of it all these things are absolutely beautifully uh, available in the in the profession in your area called teaching teaching is a wonderful job because compared to all the other areas you are absolutely totally you are a very well respected person internationally quoting any country any nationality in any community teacher is always respected and along with that uh, we also say doctors are also respected but nowadays uh, in order to join mbbs people pay capitation fee in lakhs and then in order to get back the money they become they started using lots of electronic gadgets necessary or not necessary and with the result doctors name slowly slowly getting uh, tarnished or getting diminished but teachers name never got diminished teachers were always respected i'll give you one, one or two incidences i was doing a training program in a star hotel in chennai one of my friends a lala college professor by name dr j n reddy he was also doing a training program in the same floor in another hall in the same star hotel and be, being a sunday i took my daughter maybe 6 7 years old and she uh, because it was a sunday i said come along with me and you can have a nice time in the hotel you can roam around so she was there and i gave a break by 11:30 i came to the corridor same time dr jain reddy also gave a break in his uh, program and he came out and then we got to know that uh, uh, dr reddy is doing a program there i am doing a program here and we were happily exchanging greetings and talking to each other and uh, my daughter was running around in the corridor and then i called her and said uh, come over here and she happily came dancing this way that way and then came over and said uh, this is uh, this uncle is a uh, uh, daddy's friend and she said hi uncle she uh, extended her hand and shook hands do you know what uh, uncle does and and she said i do not know you tell me i said our uncle is in lala college he is your he is like a, your miss 
in the school. The moment I said the word miss, she immediately came to attention and said salute. The moment the child hears the word teacher or miss, immediately they come to attention. Never in our life my daughter is going to be a student of Dr. Jain Reddy. But deep inside it is written in your head, in the, in the heads of everybody, irrespective of the age or nationality. Not necessarily it's seven years old, six years old daughter, it can be anybody. They also say in Cambridge University, if I studied in Cambridge University, England, and someone else has also studied Cambridge University, and they get to know, meet in a problem, maybe in a meeting, and then, um, do I have a problem here? No, no, sir. You are audible. You are audible, sir. I am audible. Okay, yes. well, and good. Uh, I do not know. Oh, it says you lost your network connection, right? So long as I am audible, oh, I am comfortable. I I am not able to see any one of you here. Shall I cut it down and uh, once again uh, come back? Turn off microphone. It's a default message. No, it's sir. Sorry. Actually, it's audible, sir. It's a default audible, message. Audible, but I can't see any face. Oh, oh, is it? It's a blank, uh, blank screen for me, and I uh, I'll find it very difficult to go on. Right? I'll cut. Sir, now you are not audible. Turn off microphone. No, he left the line and he'll come back, he said. Now, now I think I'm audible. Yes. Right. Yes, there was a. I lost track. Wasn't there one person? You're, talk, you're talking yeah. about your uh, time with the daughter during the time of uh, the Cambridge, University. Uh, Cambridge University. If I get yes. to understand that the other person has also studied in Cambridge University, and even if he was one year senior to me, I immediately get up from the chair and salute the other person. Cambridge University seniority doesn't matter what your age or what your qualification is. If the other person is senior to in the college, in the university, you immediately get up and salute the other person. So that kind I tell you, teachers always have got to respect. Almost all of us, I think, would have seen the movie Titanic, correct? I don't think anyone, uh, yeah, uh, there could be a person who has not seen uh, Titanic. So coming about, uh, the heroine Rose and the hero Jack were traveling by Titanic uh, 72 years back. The heroine was hardly 18 years old that time, and then Jack dies. And after 72 years, they find out the shipwreck, and they bring it back, and good old nostalgic memories all come up for surface. And then people ask Rose, a 90 years old lady, where is Jack? And Rose, the heroine, says, uh, Kate Winslet, I believe. And Kate Winslet says, uh, Jack lives here. And Jack dies only when Rose dies. Physically, Jack died 72 years back. Psychologically, emotionally, experientially, all Kali. And uh, when only when Rose died, uh, Jack died. In that context, uh, teachers cannot be killed. Teachers never die. Teachers cannot die. Teachers physically may be dead. At some point of time, you will die. I do not know. Physically. But emotionally, psychologically, and with all experiences, all your students will remember you. Only when the last student, last of your student, when the last student, the boy or the girl dies, then only you will die. You will die maybe 50, 60, 70, 80 years. I do not know. After your physical death, you will continue to live for another 50 more years, minimum, bare minimum. And I'll be talking about my Pachapas College teachers here. All of them still here with their physical appearance, with the way in which they talk, their tonality, their modulation, their body language. The content, all the things are still here. Only when I die, my principal will die, my teachers will die. Long as I live, my principal lives. My principal physically died. He still lives. He still lives here. So maybe you are teaching about 3,000 to 5,000 children in your tenure, 30 years or 40 years of service. I tell you, the last student, when he is 70, 80, and when he dies, then only you will die. This is unique. You are being respected at all points of time. All the teachers are respected. And one another beauty of our teaching is uh, uh, they say, Joe Bailey, 
tell me your friend i will tell you who you are similarly who you move with that makes you alive or uh, inactive if you are working with old people and they are docile people and they are meek people and uh, they are inactive people then you will also become like uh, meek and surrendering and lazy if you are living with active people and you spend good quality of time maybe 8 hours a day with the teenagers adolescents and youngsters and uh, all the youngsters are totally energetic and enthusiastic and curious and wanting to know and uh, absolutely bubbling with full of energy enthusiasm so you spend your time with your children uh, with your students with youngsters you feel young so they are their uh, pattern their thinking their way of life their feelings and uh, the way in which they walk and they move and they connect and they jovially express emotions and all those things uh, that automatically uh, reflects on you you model you mimic there are mirror neurons looking at the other person your body will automatically imbibe copy model and build a rapo system within you in that context it's one of the beautiful things so if i am working in an office and maybe i i join an office at 2025 and all the other people in my batchment they are also 2025 by and by after 20 25 years of service all of us will be at 50 but then you are working in a college you are working with people between uh, maybe 17 to 25 and then the next year also you'll be working with 17 to 25 30 years later also you'll be working with students from 17 to 25 so this is a benefit which no other organization in the world can give you only when you are in a school as a teacher only when you are in a college as a teacher you have this unique potential or unique opportunity or unique gratis given by nature or the environment that you can always be with, with youngsters and you will also be enthusiastic and energetic so even when you start home very dull and uh, very inactive and the moment you look at the children in colorful clothing and all smiles and wanting to, with a beautiful sparkling eyes looking at you and listening to you and nodding coming to the front of the chair their desk and then uh, asking you question interacting challenging with you communicating with you and then replying back to you and enacting whatever you give them and uh, they will take up the assignment they will take up the project and they will oblige you they will respect you when all these things happen automatically naturally you will also feel like uh, always 17 to 25 that's your age you can you cannot grow past 25 your age is uh, uh, stagnant or limited at that area so between 17 and 25 you always oscillate this is a gift given to you i always wanted to be a college lecturer when i was uh, studying in pachepas college uh, my dream was to be a college teacher especially pachepas because the number one quarterly holidays 10 days they give you assignment and all those things i do not know as a 20 years old boy all that i wanted was to become a college teacher so that you will get quarterly holiday 10 days and then puja holidays 10 days and then uh, christmas holidays 10 days and then uh, summer holidays 2 months and then we go on strike always every year we will go on strike and meaning work for 6 months and earn for 12 months i want to become a college teacher get the point that was my dream but it so happened i joined lsc and i was working in lsc and lsc building chennai mount road and then after 20 years when i was 40 i said i am passionate about training and training i want to do training on my own i quit my job i took vrs and came out within lsc i was traveling all over tamil nadu kerala in the hr department conducting doing training programs for all the staff in lic and uh, uh, one of the pinnacle or one of the best things that i did was i did a training program on stress management for the chairman and managing directors and executive directors and uh, hod is a lic in bombay chennai so bombay in bombay lic of india central office so that was uh, one of the most uh, interesting uh, challenging job that i did within lic right so coming back i always wanted to be a teacher and that that's the reason why i am still keep on doing this every week uh, three or four days i speak in some forum or other red fort is one forum and the mind your mind with stephen fort is another forum american college is another forum and london meditation group is another forum australian tamil seniors group is another forum ta community in trivandrum is another forum every week three to four days i speak because i like speaking i like teaching i like training so i envy you people because for me i need to go uh, in search i am a non academic person so i need to go in search of 
forum after forum, college after college, office after office, in order to get my program. But then you come in the morning, you walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in. and you feel available. And there are the students available for you, and you have an absolute uh, uh, 100% uh, fitness and 100% uh, opportunity, guaranteed opportunity day after day, every day, in every way you are getting it. And uh, uh, I really, really am jealous of you. I envy you. So right, coming back, <clears throat> uh, some of the teachers, I would like to talk about uh, my teacher. Uh, people know Abdul Kalam, uh, he becomes president. And the moment he becomes president, at the first day, day one, uh, press reporters, journalists, they come up and they said, well, we would like to have an interview. And Dr. Abdul Kalam says, OK, have an interview, but maybe by 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock at night. Uh, and uh, they come over to Rashtrapati Bhavan and they launch uh, the first interview given by Dr. Abdul Kalam as president of India. And uh, the first number one question asked was, how did you become the first citizen of India? And the answer given by Dr. Abdul Kalam was, when I was studying in fifth standard, I had a teacher, I think if I am not, if I am not very wrong, the teacher's name is Mr. Rangasamy. And he says, my teacher in fifth standard by name uh, Rangasamy, uh, teacher Rangasamy, Mr. Rangasamy, and he said, one day you are going, going to be a top class person in India. A 10 years old boy and a school teacher somewhere in Ramaswaram, just like a God, godforsaken place in the corner of uh, Tamil Nadu, a tiny little village. And the teacher says, one day you will make a mark uh, in India. And after 60 years, the, the he, uh, he went on to become an engineer and then space and then atomic research and then rocket and all those things. But what he said was, he did not say anything about space. He did not say anything about rocket. He did not uh, say anything about being a scientist. What he said was, when I was in school, when I was a student, my teacher told me, fifth standard teacher, get point. Your teacher can be any teacher. And the teacher is a very respectable person. Because of that teacher, I became first citizen of India, the president of India today. In that context, after 60 years, they will remember you. They will acknowledge you, number one, of all the people in the world, irrespective of all the qualifications and achievements and progresses, and contributions and charity and generosity and all those things, all the milestones that they have crossed. What they will remember is my school teacher, my college teacher. A wonderful gift to all the teachers. Right? Similarly, when I was in 8th standard in Tenagar High School, and my teacher was my name Mr. Narayana Murthy, Mr. Mohana Murthy. Mr. Mohana Murthy, one day he brought biryani for lunch. And then I was also, the students were also sitting there. And teacher was also in the uh, chair and the table, and he was uh, eating along with this. And he said, uh, Ramo, do you eat biryani? And I said, yes. And then he picked up some biryani for me and put it in some uh, in the lid of the lunch box. And he said, take this biryani. So he, after nearly 55, 50, more than 50, 55 years, even now thinking of Mr. Mohan Murthy and the biryani, I am emotionally connected to him. And he died very soon, at 40, he has had a heart attack and he died. But then, today I tell you, after 50, 55 years, I'm recollecting Mr. Mohan Muthi as my class teacher, who shared his biryani with me. And he said, Ramu, your English is real good. Tamil medium school, ordinary school. But then Mr. Mohan Muthi said, Ramu, your English is good. If at all I'm speaking some good English here, it's all because of one single line. Tamil medium school, the teacher said, your English is good. Get it? So one line that you say these people carry it at an emotional level as long as they live and that, that changes the perception, that changes the entire life. My entire English vocabulary came because of that seed that uh, Mr. Mohan Murthy has sown. Similarly, in Pachipas College, I had wonderful teachers uh, by name Mr. Ramasubramaniam, Pulavar Ramasubramaniam in Tamil department. So, you know, I tell you, if I ask five, name five people who made an impact on your life, who have made a positive impact on your life, invariably, almost all of you will name one or two teachers there. School teacher it could be, college teacher it could be, your teacher will be there. So, Pulavar Ramasubramaniam was uh, uh, speaking on Padhitrupati, I believe, 14 lines in a song, sonnet like, and uh, he was, uh, he picked up one line. Only six words. Yeru meaning Kalamadu buffalo or the ox. And then Puruda is fighting. Seru meaning a paddy field like 
the battlefield like a paddy field. Uradu meaning you don't have to plow or irrigate. Uradu vittu nao meaning it will give you yield. Vittu nao na it will give you yield. Meaning the cattle in the village area, in the paddy field, you don't have to have a plow and irrigate and all those things. When the cattle fight with one another, they will hit against each other, they will roll over and the horns will uh, uh, pierce through the earth and by the, by the time uh, they fight with each other, they play with each other, the whole area uh, becomes plowed, well, well plowed. And then you just uh, sprinkle seeds and automatically they will give you, for one seed, you will get thousand seeds back, uh, seeds back. So that way, one single line you are speaking for about 45 minutes. One single line. How will be the, uh, the village, how the paddy field will be, how the trees will be, how the birds will be, how the insects will be, how the pet animals will be. He was describing the entire scenario as if it was a movie in front of us. He was describing the whole thing. One single line. And then the bell rang. I immediately stood up and said, why did they ring the bell in 10 minutes? And he smiled at me and said, 45 minutes up. up. I didn't know 45 minutes went by. One single line, 45 minutes, a teacher could talk about, and I can recollect it after 50, 55 years. Get the point? That's the power, power of the teacher. Pull over Rama Subramanya. The man might have died, but then he still lives, continues to live. So in that context, are you, how well are you connected? Are, you, are there challenges in your life? Yes. Some people will listen, some people will not listen, some will be mischievous, some do not need you at all. Jovially, we say up to 12th standard, when students come up, and students are all, normally they are like water. When they are born, they are like water. And in 12 years' time, all the schools, uh, they make them as, a, uh, they convert them from a water to milk. And milk is being handed over to college teachers. When they enter college, all the students, boys and girls, all of them are like milk, uniform. They studied up to that standard, something or other, by and large, the similar subjects. Maybe in 11th and 12th, there might be a slight differences, but then uh, by and large, they are like milk. When they come over to you and then you start educating them, maybe with your help, they will become MBA and managers. With your help, they will become qualified. Maybe yours is a government college. Sometimes it's an engineering college, they become engineers. If it's a medical college, they become doctors. If it is chartered accountancy, they become chartered accountants, company secretary, caste accountant, manager, or whatever, agriculture, or botanist, or whatever. So all these things are horticulture, agriculture, whatever. And then in three years' time, in four years' time, in five years' time, you make them get a designation or a qualification. And then they carry this qualification for the rest of their lives. So how, what happens to the milk? The milk becomes coffee, some milk becomes tea. With a one spoon coffee powder, the entire cup of milk becomes coffee. One spoon tea powder, entire spoon become, entire milk becomes tea. Or it becomes Ovaltine, or it becomes a brew, or it becomes Nestle, or it becomes a, a Harlix, or whatever. So what you do is you convert the, you convert the milk into become whatever they want to become. So, and then they are doctors and engineers for the rest of their lives. So you, what you pick up is a boy or a girl, a teenage boy or a teenage girl. And with your input, what they, what they become is they become an adult. An adult fit to get to an office, go to an office, to, adult fit to vote, adult fit to decide, adult fit to get married, adult fit to uh, beget children, adult be, uh, fit to do any job in any organization or start any business. So what you get is a boy, what you get is a girl, a teenager, a no wife, and a, a naive person. He doesn't know anything, he is innocent, and he or she is innocent. And then what you do with them is uh, making them an adult, making them a qualified person, making them a thinking faculty, a person who could think, who could stand up on his own legs, take some risk, stick his neck out, get to understand, ask you questions, assimilate things, Process the data, collect the data, reprocess the data, manipulate the data, and shortlist, put them into work, and make things happen. Where does he get the capacity? It's all because of the college and the teaching faculty. You think you are teaching a subject. No, you are creating a man, a man and a woman, an adult. 
Or the person who is so far mischievous, so far a teenager, he becomes a fit person, and then he, uh, but all his uh, notoriety and all his mischief, they all disappear, and then he becomes a serious person, and then he becomes a human being in the society, contributing to the society, connecting to the society. So you have a wonderful job, not just a subject. You are dealing with human, uh, not dealing with. You are relating with human beings. Um, normally, we say you deal with the machines and you relate with people. So you are relating with people. So a psychologist comes by, a psychotherapist comes by, a linguist comes by, a master in language comes by, and all this. Whatever the society needs, you are the one who are providing them. The school created a premises, and you sowed the seed. You made them tea. You made them coffee. You made them bon vita. You made them Horlicks. You converted them. You gave them the qualification for the rest of their lives. They will call themselves as qualified people. For the rest of their lives, they say, "I am fit to work starting now till the end. I am fit now to get married and uh, raise a family also." So you have a lot of responsibility, even without your awareness, uh, being with these young children, right? Coming up to challenges one more time. Uh, uh, again in Japan. And uh, people in uh, mechanized boats, motor boats, they go farther out into the sea. And uh, normal routine, smaller boats or catamarans, uh, they go nearby, maybe a couple of kilometers, and then they come back. But then these people with mechanized wow, boats, they go far into the sea, maybe 100 kilometers, maybe 200 kilometers away from the location. And then they catch fish. After two days or three days, maybe they go fishing for two days, three days, maybe five days, maybe a week like. So longer distances and the area where untrespassed by other people and wherein lots of fishes are available, they put the net and all, they collect the fishes. But then by the time they come back and they start selling the fish, the fish already starts becoming raw, getting rotten. And they had a complaint. Here we are not able to compete with people because more number of people are competing with this, not enough fish available. But then when they go far away, by the time we come back, the fish is not fresh. At that point of time, somebody says, uh, why don't you have a huge fridge, uh, a huge fridge or a uh, uh, freezing mechanism, put a lot of ice there and then uh, put it inside uh, and it will be frozen and uh, yeah, it can be thawed and uh, 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 sold. When uh, Even when they froze or put it in the fridge and uh, uh, thawed it and uh, sold it, it was not as tasty or as effective. The flesh was not okay. And then still they had a complaint. They said, uh, even with the fridge, it doesn't work, it doesn't sell, and people don't like it. And then they said, uh, instead of uh, keeping it in the, uh, in the fridge, why don't you have a swimming pool-like area inside your boat, huge boat, wherein you can keep them all alive, and they'll be there, and you can pick up uh, alive fishes and start selling them. So very good, they started doing that. But then it so happened, a small swimming pool inside the uh water area inside the boat and they were all just floating they cannot move because there are thousands of fishes around with the result when they were sold the flesh was weak and it was uh, uh, not quite tasty again we have a complaint when we are here we cannot get fish when we go there the fish gets rotten if we freeze it it doesn't sell when you put it in the water also it doesn't sell at that point of time one of the person says you don't have to change anything all that you need to do is have the mechanized boat, have a small water swimming pool like, and keep all the fishes over there. But then put uh, one foot length, a couple of or maybe 10 shark, uh, shark fishes also there, sharks. And what happens is the moment the shark comes over, all the other, they are agile and active how to escape from the shark. They were all sharp, moving around. So a couple of shark, uh, sharks there, maybe two, three, with the result of the sharks, uh, at best they can eat only 10, 10 fishes or so. But then when the shark keeps moving, all the other fishes are all dynamic and enthusiastic and energetic and uh, survival oriented. And when they brought it back and they sold it, the, uh, the fishes were very tasty and very delicious and they were selling like hot cakes. Meaning when you have a challenge automatically, your body becomes all right, your psyche becomes all right, your emotions become all right, everything becomes all right, provided you have a challenge. The challenge is, how am I going to convert all these youngsters to become adults, knowledgeable, intelligent, and focusing attention on what the society needs? How am I going to make them get that?
So in that context, you play a very, very vital role. You are really contributing to the society because you are in the transitional area from the school, a college, not just college, from the school over to the office, you are the connecting link. You are in the intermediate area. You are, the moment your link is taken away, the boy is unfit, unqualified to survive or unqualified to live or unqualified to contribute in any way to the society at large. So you play a very vital role. By and large, people think I am a teacher, I am teaching my subject. Be well versed, be strong. Take it as a challenge every single day in what subject am I going to teach. If you are going to teach a subject, you must be absolutely conversant, knowing A to Z from this end to that end. Then not just if I am teaching the third chapter, I am going to be focusing on the third chapter only. At any point of time, you must be able to teach the entire book at any point of time and answer any questions. So in that context, your body language works, your verbal language works, your tonality works, your dressing manners works, your eye language works. And we say in uh, neuro linguistic programming, you know, some people are visual and you so show them what is there. So maybe in the writing in the chalkboard or a green board or blackboard or whiteboard, or you show them LCD, it could be a PowerPoint, it could be a video, or uh, it could be a flip chart. Uh, some such something colorful something uh, visually seeable lookable and then you also talk your tonality your amplitude uh, your speed of delivery and your modulation and your pass and your space and uh, the way in which you walk and all those things uh, all put together it's called uh, body language and verbal language going together and then you make a connectivity it's auditory people and these people like music and these people like uh, listening to people. So it's oriented to the auditory. And then there are some people who are kinesthetic, meaning uh, they are uh, feeling oriented people. For those people, you got to tell them some jokes and stories and uh, be caring and affectionate. Uh, the way in which you talk as an elder sister or an elder brother or uh, an uncle or an auntie. like, uh, And there's a sense of bonding and oneness. Uh, and if they are sad, if they are tired, you'll be able to identify and then connect with them and uh, talk to them. Are you not well? If someone has got to put on a new dress, you say, is it your birthday or are you celebrating something? Looks new and whatever. Whenever they do a job, a complete an assignment, appreciate them wholeheartedly, enthusiastically. Aha, that's wonderful. I know you can do it. So encouraging, motivating and all those things. Uh, and it's called feeling oriented, emotions oriented. So in that context, uh, either uh, some people are visual and some people are auditory and some people are feeling oriented. So you mix all the three together. So for some people, you show them visually. For some people, you give a lecture and a talk and a pass and a tonality and a, a vibrations and a modulations and all those things. For some people, you have a personal connectivity with them. Identify them as your friend like. So the, the, just as I was talking about Mr. Mohan Murthy or Mr. Ram Subramanyam, not as a teacher, just as if they are my friends like. One other teacher by name is Mr. Krishna Kumar and he was giving a talk on Henry David Toro. H-E-N-R-Y, Henry David D-A-V-I-D, Toro, T-H-O-R-E-A-U. But then Mr. Krishna Kumar came over and said, today's topic is Henry David Toriyo. T-H-O-R-E-A-U, he said Henry David Toriyo. I raised my hand. My major was economics and he's an English professor. I raised my hand. He said, what is it? I said, it is Henry David Toro, sir. It rhymes with Biro, sir. B-U-R-E-A-U. Biro, it is Henry David Toro, not Turio. Immediately, all the students clapped for me because uh, I was correcting my uh, English professor's English. Uh, but then uh, Mr. Krishnan Kumar was uh, too intelligent. He said, uh, I spoke with uh, Turio yesterday. He said his name is only Turio. You sit down. So now people, all the people clapped for uh, the teacher and they gave over. So I sat down. The next day, Mr. Krishna Kumar comes over and then he says, where is Ram? And I said, maybe my head is going to get chopped off. I stood up like a, a docile cattle. And uh, he said, Ram, I checked up. You are right. It is Henry David Toro. It rhymes with the Biro. I am wrong. Thanks for correcting my English. After 55 years, I tell you, I remember Mr. Krishna Kumar with respect because he had the guts. He had the confidence to admit that I am wrong. You are right. So the respect is not in the teacher commits a mistake. It's not a mistake. When the teacher commits a mistake and accepts that I, I have committed a mistake and in front of all the other students, 
and then appreciates me he still lives here but an emotional level not as a teacher just like a big brother just as my contemporary not just as my colleague or friend or, or a team member like get it <clears throat> so oh, the idea is to be in the flow zone he talks about flow zone flow uh, the name of the book is flow uh, by by an author by name uh, zig sent mihali mihali a. no matter how much i tell you the spelling you will not be able to repeat the spelling spelling of the uh, name it is uh, c s i k s z e n t m i h a l y m i h a l y i zig sent mihali mihali a. that's the name of the person he wrote a book called flow flow meaning everything synchronizes all in synchrony all in harmony everything comes together and whatever you do it works it clicks if you enter a game you are the winner if you give a lecture everybody stands up and claps and uh, whatever you do you, you start driving the vehicle all the signals clear and you talk to somebody the right word appears the right sentence appears or the right information appears the right answer appears the right quotation appears the right remembrance comes into you are able to connect with what happened 20 years back and then immediately recollect and then tell the other person what well, everything the gels everything works that's called being in the flow zone and a lot of information about being in the flow zone and uh, okinawa people are in the flow zone uh, most of the time not that all 24 hours and uh, 24 7 days right we can live in a flow zone but many a time we can be in the flow zones again and again repeatedly through exercises we can be in flow zones you know okinawa people following uh, ikigai they are in the flow zone the concept of flow is uh, when we are fully absorbed in what we do here it is teaching and uh, you are totally focused on the right words and the right uh, terminology and the right physiology and right context everything appears and everyone stands to gain everyone stands to benefit you know everything works like right and uh, one of the person in Pajapas College was by name uh, Professor yeah, uh, Chakalingam. Chakalingam was five feet tall, dark, bald. And he was a professor in English. And uh, you know our notorious college Pajapas. Uh, and then the teacher is five feet tall and he is dark and he is short and he is uh, bald also. In the day one, first year BA economics, all the students, uh, you know, Pajapas is known for notoriety and economics is uh, uh, all the more known, well known for it. And day one, it's a gallery. And the good old days, there are no lights and no fans. You don't even, can't even see the faces of people sitting in the last bench, like last desk. It's an up gallery line. And the teacher comes over and the people at the end, the last bench, they started cooing and crying and hooting and uh, calling names and shouting and all. Because they think uh, the teacher is not visible, the teacher is so short. And then, yeah, all the shouting, he remained quiet and uh, people were, uh, all the students were making fun and shouting day one. And then after five minutes, the man started talking, who, the, who is the bloody rascal over there? First sentence, all of you bloody rascals now are on the Next 10 minutes, I'll tear you into ribbons. This is the first time, this is the last time. Doesn't work in my class, my foot. And he started calling names for non-stop. He spoke for five minutes and not a single word he repeated. And he was firing us. Such a command over English language. People were shocked and surprised and uh, uh, they, were, they were aghast. Can a person have this point of uh, this many vocabulary in scolding people, in firing people, calling them names and teasing and all those things. And then it all stopped. And then we realized that Chokaling was such a powerful person with the vocabulary, with the sound, the tonality. If he gives a lecture, the lecture in the next class, this way, that way, they cannot conduct a class at all. That kind of voice. And he's too very intelligent, good command over here. Extremely intelligent and extreme, uh, the top, uh, topmost level of uh, vocabulary. With the result, we jovially call him uh, Chokalingam to Chokan. And because he was short, he was called a Japan. Japan class around so long. Shall we cut the class and go for a movie? Now? Japan class today, we'll go to movie tomorrow. Japan is always interesting. And no more five feet tall, no more short, no more dark, no more bald hair. Japan.
provided you have good command over the subject and good command over the language and you feel well connected to people this becomes your passion vision mission and then you know your strengths and they play with your strengths and then you get connected to people and you deliver something people will always respect you and people say the teenager is very difficult to manage if you have stuff everyone will salute you everyone will respect you everyone will remember you everyone will always talk high of you then even though you'll be the uh, speaking uh, maybe in a year of uh, four five classes uh, maybe at best 10 classes so or uh, teaching your subject the entire college in knows you because all the students are interacting with each other get the point if you are good at it you are willing to take the challenges if you are visual auditory feeling oriented person and if you have a vision and a mission and you are passionate about doing whatever you are what you are doing and uh, you are skillful in the delivery and your mastery and then uh, you make a living out of it uh, by offering your strength by creating uh, good citizens for india then you are doing a wonderful job this is something lovely no other person can give any amount of money cannot get this kind of a relationship this kind of a bonding this kind of a remembrance this kind of a reverence and respect get it you are in this area so always be a leader uh, all leaders are readers if you want to earn well learn well and so on keep on learning keep on updating keep on connecting to people and do a worthwhile job and always go for ikigai meaning uh, go with your strength be passionate about it connect to the world identify the the college keeps on supplying our teenagers to you year after year fresh candidates connect to them and do a good job and you will be well respected well remembered even beyond your physical death maybe 50 70 years more i wish you all the very best i am done turn off microphone control plus button, button turn off my view thank you so much sir it is really it reminds all our teachers who were we who were taught us who oh, were mold us in all our life really uh, things like a flashback and nostalgic memories which you created through your speech and really this ikigai i think that i am uh, uh, pronouncing is correctly uh, so it is really a motivational and it creates an ikigai in the minds of the teachers to go ahead to motivate the students to get the same motivation in their life and now it is over to participants if there are any questions or any clarifications you can raise the questions by turn on your turning on your mic or you can type it and send it in the chat box disable this keyboard shortcut and ease of access hg button turn off camera button turn off mic very good morning sir welcome good this morning this is dr kripavai from economics department of bardasan government college hmm. uh it is truly a motivational speech and uh, i have learned a lot sir uh, i would like to uh, know about how a parent can cooperate with the teacher in this regard all if the teacher so, uh, right go ahead brush yeah if so it would be a complete program for a student i think i suppose because most of the time only the parents and teachers are sharing the times of the students so they are having the equal importance along with the teacher i think that's why i'm asking thank you sir right i also talk about teenage psychology exclusively for teenagers and i also talk about the parenting psychology exclusively for parents also but then they overlap teaching uh, teaching adolescents and uh, adolescent psychology and parenting or they, they they meet at a uh, certain point because uh, we interact with each other so all the teachers are also parents so as a parent also the idea is uh, by and large your teenagers have got a different kind of an eyesight if you are till you become a teenager you look at mommy from uh, down below looking at mommy looking at dad, you know, daddy because they are tall now that you are a teenager what happens is now you are looking at your mummy at an even level or sometimes you are taller than your mummy and then you looked upon upon your mummy 
looked down looked down upon your mummy in the figurative sense also in the linguistic sense also in the literal sense also with the result mummy doesn't know what to do with you right so very difficult to manage your teenagers unless you have stuff teenagers have got uh, they so far till school they were dependent and in the college they become independent when they become independent they do not have maturity they have height and weight like mummy daddy sometimes they overtake mummy daddy but then you do not have maturity they will tend to take some risk they will stick their neck out they will misbehave they will be mischievous they will be notorious and they will do all those things they will talk back and uh, the, all these things will happen the idea is to handle them with kid gloves one more recommend uh, uh, recommendation that i can offer you now is uh, go to coursera.org c o u r s e course r a coursera.org o r g and the uh, yale university professor by name alan kasdin a l a n alan kasdin k a z d i n and the uh, course is by, by name everyday parenting alan kasdin has trained well over 5000 families well over 10000 children and he is talking about parenting technology and the course is available to you free of cost at the end of the course uh, if you need a certificate maybe you need to pay about 2000 rupees other than that the course is available yale well, university course by alan hasdin kasdin name of the course is everyday parenting it gives you lots of inputs on how to manage teenage children also you can pick up uh, uh, elizabeth harlock on child psychology uh, psychology textbook which helps you get to understand children and teenage psychology in developmental psychology any book on development psychology especially by elizabeth harlock uh, is a wonderful book elizabeth you know a l i z b e t h harlock h u r l o c k elizabeth harlock child development and developmental psychology both the books are wonderful books coursera.org alan kasdin yale university everyday parenting that's a wonderful course so you get a lot of information there maybe by and by one day i can also conduct a class here for you on parenting psychology right thank you sir that's a wonderful idea if we would have, have another session it will be very helpful for us uh, even our uh, college can also think about it thank you so much for this motivational session and uh, giving me the chance to participate thank you so much one another thing is there is another movie by name dangerous minds yes the title is looks dangerous but it's a wonderful movie dangerous minds is the name of the movie and uh, Michelle Pfeiffer is the uh, heroine. She is a teacher in a school, an African American uh, living area, and in that area, building building like many things. So long, people poverty stricken and uh, uh, black people or African American people and down trodden mm-hmm. people, and uh, uh, this kind of people for those people, Michelle Pfeiffer, M I C H E L L E, Michelle, M I C H E L L E, Michelle Pfeiffer, P E F I F O P E R. P F E I F O B R. Michelle Pfeiffer is a heroine. Wonderful movie on teachers. Watch the movie. Come and meet me. Sir, put down. Hi, sir. I'm Mary from Bangalore. Bangalore. Welcome. Ah, uh, uh, sir. Wonderful sp- uh, talk, sir. It went back to my school days and college days. So the, your session is always mind blowing, sir. So. I uh, have so much uh, information. Uh, only appreciation, sir. No doubts because you tell it so clarity. Now nah, every day, t- every time we listen in Yellow Pond Counseling Center. So wherever any time topic is, your topic is there. I love to uh, listen, sir. So congratulations, sir, and all the best for your life. Thank you, thank you uh, very much, Mary Florence. Uh, and uh, I am 68 years old now. But then, uh, as uh, Mary Florence said. Uh, i became 18 years old and i was from pachepas college talking to you thank you very much sir <laughs> i was living with my teachers there will have a people who will have this raised a hand always interaction yes sir thank you all this good morning sir so nice sir this is a really wonderful session sir nalla irundhuchu sir nare explanations kuttinga thank you very much sir thank you vanga teachers kelichinga 
Mm-hmm. Wonderful session as usual. Simple language. You connected from your personal experience. They heart learned the pace. No matter where they are. I'm not a faculty of Bharathasan, but an alumni of Bharathasan. Just I peeped in to know what is happening, but I could not go out. That is a fact. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So much. Sir. Welcome. Welcome. Turn off. Turn off microphone. Others. Any questions? எங்கப்பா டீச்சர்ஸ் கேள்வி எல்லாம் கேட்க மாட்டீங்களா Any questions from anybody else Sir very good morning sir Jyoti Arumugam here Vaanga welcome, welcome. How are you sir So as usual an excellent uh, you know session and uh, no doubt uh, those who have experienced with your sessions uh, will have no other uh, choice to hear uh, your excellent uh, you know sessions only and uh, though i have uh, read this uh, book uh, for a couple of times and also heard many reviews uh, from you as well as for others earlier uh, this you have customized exclusively for uh, from the you know teachers perspective and in fact uh, you made uh, definitely you know every teacher here to under or uh, live in their past memories of their own uh, student hood and all that that is why i think they are not asking coming out with any questions and the same feeling here also so thank you sir thank you for your wonderful uh, session we enjoyed thoroughly as usual uh, you know thank against you. all other sessions so thank you sir good day thank you honored to thank you thank you sir it is wrong doubts where i have not answered properly where i have not clarified properly where i have left something incomplete where i have confused you I would love to get to know only through your interactions. I will get to know what I have missed out. How can I complete the circle? So I am asking you to ask me. It is from my side, sir. Madam, Anga. Ah, yes, sir. Actually, it's not a question or not a clarification. When you were talking about that, uh, even if the teacher is having or facing some kind of issues, maybe physical or uh, it is about her uh, mental issues or very personal whatever it is mm-hmm. when we are going and standing in front of the students it really mm-hmm. that kind of situations and that kind of classroom scenario will make us to forget all our mm-hmm. personal problems and sufferings Absolutely. really i am experiencing now i am realizing to your speech and even if it is uh, and i want i would like to say one thing whether i don't know whether I should uh, i can or i cannot when i am you when always i am with the students it is making me to forget all about my disabilities also i am a surely challenged person yeah. whenever the whenever i am going with the students whenever i am just uh, uh, stepping with the students together whenever students are telling something to me it really whenever i am standing in front of nearly hundreds of students it really makes me to forget about even about my disability really it's a wonderful thing which you were talking about and which made me to uh, recollect everything thank you so much sir welcome welcome uh, we normally we say uh, people have eyesight but not vision <laughs> some people like you do not have eyesight but you have vision yeah it's true eyesight is different vision is different yeah you, vision is different you have vision that's the point and any time you are with enthusiastic people automatically without your awareness enthusiasm ungaliyum thottrikollam yeah true good old days voice of america radio voice of america you to say you need somebody to call me my why don't you give him one of your excuse me sir on the way oh, without a smile why don't you give him one of yours so these people give us smiles and we smile good wrong wrong yaar bhai face on the somebody is talking yeah, yeah. Yes. if madam Yes, sir. Sir, you have brought so many good examples from the past, but what about the present scenario of the teachers? Currently, as I told you, electronics has come in. Corona has come in. Two things. So, with electronics, the idea is to master uh, electronics. Now, uh, I have not mastered electronics. All that I do is how to open Team or uh, uh, your Zoom or Google Meet uh, and then connect with them. That's what I know. but by and large uh, you need to uh, use electronics also you need to know the understand the vocabulary of children 
and know that they are energetic and they are knowledgeable and uh, they uh, treat them as friends uh, jo vili we say or vaadiyar tamil la solitta pora english la translate panna mudiyadhan paakren vaadiyar vandu sonnara don't treat me as a teacher take me as your friend annara anga endu or payan sonna na rendu tea sollu macha apperama pesalam so can you connect with children at their level if a four years old baby irukkuna i need to kneel down and uh, the eyes i i level i sight level must be at the same place at the same level then it becomes easy for me to connect with the baby and ellarku namak theriyum when we talk to the baby always bend down and then or kneel down and talk to the baby similarly when you do that with a baby do the same thing with children papa come to their wave length and their vibrations and their vocabulary and the way which they move and they interact they are all happening in front of you you are observing them that point so in that context uh, learn more in uh, update your knowledge always update in uh, another japanese technology is my name kaizen a i z e n continuous never ending ongoing day to day every day improvement that expansion continuous ongoing never ending every day improvement is called kaizen so keep on improving yourself and get to know your subject anything that gets a uh, uh, quality is always half baked meaning quality will improve either you improve or other person improves so you need to improve you need to update in that context what is the latest information in the area in which you are teaching and be good at it and one excuse me yes i'll complete one of the teacher that i can recommend is uh, my name walter levin w a l t e r walter levin l e w i n even if you go to google and simply write uh, greatest physics physics teacher of the world his name will appear so, so watch some of the walter levin's movies and you will know how to teach children oh walter levin physics teacher greatest yes. physics teacher in the world yes thank you sir வாங்க <laughs> <laughs> வந்து <laughs> home work and all those things uh, i understand teachers have very many other jobs also which eat away their time and uh, energy also but the point is uh, uh, there is a technique called pomodoro p o m o d o r o pomodoro if you ask with google as pomodoro you will get a uh, lot of information about time management pomodoro in italian language it simply means a tomato takali pomodoro pota ungalku takali kilo enna valaina adu kaamikana google but totally a person by name francesco cirillo francesco cirillo f r i n c e s c o cirillo c i r i l l o this person from italy what he did was to convert to create a, a clock like a tomato and then he recommends to do you know, everything for keep working for 25 minutes and then take rest for 5 minutes or recollect what you read or what you studied for 5 minutes no, in 5 minutes so 25 minutes and 5 minutes break 25 minutes and 5 minutes break so look at anything as at a pomodoro unit supposing you are given a job and uh, the job needs about an hour look at it as it will take me to pomodoro in uh, indian context uh, we call the distance uh, uh, supposing i am in kk nagar i need to go to lac in mount road how long will it take people normally say 10 kilometers in chennai or in india but then if it is in usa how long will it take me to move from san jose to san francisco they will say uh, one hour so they will always uh, talk about the mileage or kilometer only in, in the context of driving the uh, by clock that's 30 minutes distance this 10 minutes distance distance mm-hmm. not in kilometers or miles distance is in uh, minutes 
similarly if you can look at everything from the pomodoro angle it becomes much easier to focus attention in that 25 minutes you are totally committed involved be with the work that you are on hand you are not getting distracted anywhere your focus your attention everything is there in that area so look at all the work that you have maybe you need two pomodoros to teach in the class about 45 50 minutes so take it as two pomodoros in that way you look at everything from a pomodoro angle quantify everything from a pomodoro angle even sleeping can be converted into pomodoro angle like uh, i may need 25 minutes into 10 uh, into 10 like 15 minutes or 6 hours or so 8 hours i may i may need 10 pomodoro right so when you start looking at everything from pomodoro angle quantify everything from 25 minutes angle it becomes much easier to get the job done relax in the meantime also refresh yourself and come back to it so do one admin job do one lecture job and do another job and then do uh, one lecture job normally for students i recommend them to write something read something and do some mathematics and then doing do some drawing work and then uh, take a little bit of rest so do one work which involves writing do another work which involves a project do another work which involves reading do another work which involves a drawing do another work which involves reading so mathematics so different contexts you are operating different areas in the brain when you are doing mathematics the other areas in the brain are working all are taking rest when you are doing uh, linguistics uh, tamil or english uh, or french some other area takes rest so that context some area takes rest and some area in the brain gets activated not the same area is being taxed not two hours of mathematics not two hours of drawing not two hours of project you need to distinguish uh, from the context of pomodoro and go for pomodoro lectures it's available in the internet thank you sir thank you sir what else dr chandra ma'am can you just look at the chat box has anybody posted any questions there uh, there are actually no questions sir but uh, there are some comments praising the lecture that uh, most of the participants have enjoyed it sir. i mm. think um, uh, sir might have read some of the messages okay sir have you read or do you want me to read them for you no i am seeing them okay thank you Anybody else? Oh, ask questions. When you ask questions, I'll give you some answer. I'll give you a recommendation to check up in the net. Thereby, you will learn more. Oh. Actually, there is a question, sir. Um, Sorry. I. Uh, it's. Um, i'll read out for you mm. it is uh, about the students mm. how can we help the students who are not interested in studies this mm. is from uh, dr ganesh nagapan mm. so i'll give you another case history like uh, biotechnology kiran mazumdar shah mm. biotechnology bangalore and uh, she was uh, she wanted to do mbbs but then uh, for uh, short of marks uh, she could not join them and then uh, she didn't know what to do her daddy told her do zoology botany and she said i don't like zoology botany but then daddy said join so i joined bsc botany zoology maybe physics chemistry added to that and then for 3 years she studies and then she writes the examination and she gets gold medal and all her classmates make fun of her saying that you always said you didn't like zoology you didn't like botany but how come you got the gold medal and she says even today i don't like zoology i don't like botany but then my daddy said do it no matter what i take up whether i like it or not whether i hate it or not you do a good job having taken up so having joined some place do a good job and then say i will not continue further and then she goes over to studying msc uh, brewing brewing alcohol beer uh, wine tayaripad eppadi beer tayaripad eppadi whisky tayaripad eppadi so she goes out to goes to australia and studies uh, becomes a brew master she comes back to india and she seeks job 
ஒரு ஆல்கஹால் கம்பெனி கூட லேடி எடுக்க மாட்டேன்னு சொல்லிட்டாங்க அண்ட் தென் ஷி கோஸ் அவுட் அயர்லண்ட் அயர்லண்ட் பிகாஸ் இட்ஸ் ஹார்ட்லி லைக் சென்னை ஹார்ட்லி பிப்டி கிலோமீட்டர்ஸ் அரௌண்ட் தட்ஸ் இட் சென்னை டு மகாபலிபுரம் சென்னை டு செங்கல்பட்டு லை அண்ட் தென் ஹர் டீச்சர் தேர் பயோ டெக்னாலஜி சேஸ் Ireland is so very tiny. Why don't you go back to your country, India, and then start uh, uh, doing something worthwhile in biotechnology? She comes back to India, Bangalore, and she starts the bio BT industry, biotech or bioinformatics something. I do not know the name. Now she is number one in biotechnology in India. Bangalore is well known for three people. <coughs> one is Narayan Murthy, another one Vipro Asim Premji, third one biotechnology Kiran Mazumdar Shah. so the point is whether you like it or not having taken up something pay all your attention get the job done and then move some place else it's no use failing in an area not doing something having come in the point is you don't come in you know be able to convince your mummy daddy that this is not what i want or this is something that i want and do that if you don't do that you're not done that doesn't matter don't blame yourself don't feel guilty now that i am here i'll get the job done and then go on next one right it's all in the way in which you communicate adamaga idamaga pakkuvamaga nayamaga avargal manam konada alavil purindukollugira alavil enna viruppapadugira alavil suggestibility apdi solla affirmations positively come from unconditional positive regard respect them and tell them in a very positive polite manner in such a way they they are receptive and they are suggestible and that they receive the message and then incorporate it all depends thank on communication thank you sir actually there is another question from dr bama devi how hmm. can we start and do psychology test to school start students school students how can we start psychology? and do psychology test to school students நிறைய சைக்காலஜி கொஸ்டினர்ஸ் நிறைய இருக்குது ஆல் சைக்காலஜி டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் இந்த காலேஜஸ் தே ஹவ் கொஸ்டினர்ஸ் அசர்டிவ்னஸ் பாடி லாங்குவேஜ் கம்யூனிகேஷன் கான்ஃபிக்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் டிசிஷன் மேக்கிங் குவாலிட்டி எக்ஸலன்ஸ் லீடர்ஷிப் டீம் பில்டிங் ஜாப் ஜாப் சாட்டிஸ்ஃபேக்ஷன் ஃபார் எனி திங் அண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் லாட்ஸ் ஆஃப் கொஸ்டினர்ஸ் அவைலபிள் ஸோ சைக்காலஜி டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் காலேஜஸ் வில் ஆல்வேஸ் ஹவ் சைக்காலஜி கொஸ்டினர்ஸ் அண்ட் த கீஸ் ஆல்சோ நார்மலி தே டூ நாட் ஷேர் த கீஸ் give them a questioner answer the questioner and then based on the keys uh, we will get to know where people are and then uh, we will tell them this is where you stand so psychology is a wonderful subject it's a soft skill it's applicable to anyone and everyone as long as you are a human being psychology helps you some people choose chemistry some people choose engineering some people choose medicine that's a different story but psychology is about our lives it's my thought it's my feeling it's my action so psychology always helps all the teachers can always pick up a book on general psychology and read developmental psychology and get to know if i am a baby what do i do if i am a teenager what do i do if i get married what do i do if i am employed what do i do if i am old what do i do <laughs> answer is there in developmental psychology how do i impact the society or how the society impacts me pick up a social uh, sociology book or social psychology book you will get to know how an individual impacts the society or how the society impacts the individual that comes under social psychology any problematic area counseling psychology will help you but counseling psychology is for theory theory application you need a therapist or a counselor a qualified person but you can get to know through counseling psychology the problems and the solutions so any teacher or any person any human being anywhere on earth can always pick up some psychology book and they can read their life history their autobiography there thank you sir actually uh, dr bama devi is requesting for some reference book if you have any to suggest for the same for psychology general psychology normally we say baron b a robert baron and uh, i have lots of books about i think about uh, i have about 75 books on general psychology college <laughs> textbooks all of them are college textbooks internationally acclaimed college textbooks any time i come back to usa i carry minimum ha 50 to 100 books from usa for purchase here and mama bring them over there so i can recommend lots of books from home thank you sir 
I think uh, only these are the questions I can uh, see in the chat box. If uh, there are any questions, dear participants, uh, uh, please ask your questions. If there are any questions, please come forward to ask it. And one more announcement. The feedback link has been posted in the chat box. All the participants are requested to fill it without fail. Any questions, please? Shall we proceed with it? Asanga Kelly got a bullet so long, Pulak, the Imkilic Matta. But I'm happy teaching teachers because uh, all the teachers can take my message to 100 different people, students. Truly, sir. If I'm talking to 100 students here, it means uh, it will reach out to 10,000 students. I am very happy there. You are a medium through which I am reaching students, True. if not directly. I don't know how to do it. But actually, yeah, KLV cake and you clarified answer to the Munadi cake at the Wipe of Kudukling. Okay, teacher one there, student to go wipe a Kuduguno, Ning and the Wipe of Kudukling, Ningle let the Araga Murcha to the Nalanga cake. All of them, I don't know. Thank you, thank you very much. Sir, would know the hello, yeah, subconscious mind. How to you? Use our subconscious mind for teaching and uh, perform our work. Le. Subconscious mind, but the unur session of class. Unga door session of class, na la art man din art level na bookie le. Ah, brother, mari you say the difference between a male and a female brain uh, language center, the max center. This book na la la max na la poor bangga the mari la. Ado kunjo layman perspective le kunjo explain panna na la ko baby the forthcoming session ani kaud. We will do that. Pause. Uh, tuning, uh, tuning our brain, to the how it works. Brain and hormones. Hormones, yes. 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 Serotonin, endorphin, thalamus, hypothalamus, hippocampus, amygdala, upper ma, inga thyroid, cortisol, gonads, and testosterone, estrogen, the hormones. So, nervous system or not, pesla, hormones are the pesla. Neuron, neuroplasticity, neurotopic, so there are too many areas. Brain on psychology, yes, sir. Even I would like to. Add to this, uh, as Madam said, Kandipa was the uh, part of the subconscious. I think that is a very important, a major area where, uh, because it plays a very, very big part, I think. You are absolutely uh, Yes, its role in teaching, in classroom teaching. And I think it also differs, like, uh, as you said, for school children, for uh, college students, and the Madri. So, Miss Madam Sanamadri, Principal Sanamadri, we can, I think, uh, have an elaborate discussion on that side. Subconscious mind or not full ladder. I'll give you lots of things. Okay. Thank you, sir. You know, the four subjects to dealing with uh, subconscious mind. Nah. Transactional analysis, zero yes. to five years is important. Exactly. Hypnotherapy, neuro linguistic programming, psychotherapy, psychoanalysis, psychology. So, subconscious mind, nah. now topically, nah. subconscious mind uh, uh, finds a major role. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Anything else? Lena close money come. Let's go. Next class on a time and kind of we will meet again. Yeah, sure. I'll talk about the other topics also, one after the other. Suresh Karnakaran Noyer. Chulang Lang. Chulang Lang. Yeah, in fact, I wanted to talk about the difference between uh, teaching once upon a time and teaching today. 
Uh, yeah, well, once upon a time, I believe uh, teaching was supposed to be a calling. Teachers were considered to be gurus and all that. Now that teaching has <coughs> become lucrative, teaching has become a career, teaching has become a profession. I believe these uh, nice words about teachers are spoken only on teachers day. A contrary to what you have said, sir, you have uh, you have uh, through your anecdotes, you have said uh, how what a lofty, what an elevated position teachers do enjoy in society, um, uh, in 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 all all terms. Mm -hmm. But has there been a change in this? Has there been a change in the stature that teachers have been enjoying over the years? On the book, in the port, you elevated platform level, some of the Tandi Gurukulam Lan Tandi. If nowadays what happens is they are more friendly. And uh, students, number, as you are talking, they access the cell phone and then they go to Google and they ask Google, is the teacher correct or not? And they will, they will refute you, they will argue with you. Meaning we need to update. But students, youngsters are youngsters. I'll over pay change along. All said and done, I tell you, all teenagers are always teenagers and they are sometimes notorious and mostly mischievous and uh, they always respect people who is knowledgeable if the teacher is really knowledgeable and good in delivery and does his profession neatly they will always respect you socrates period lay everything in a 2500 years back ilang ergal kettu poi vittargal ilang ergal onnume seiyamudiyade naadu kutti chavar aayiduche apdi nan pesittirundanga the country is going to dogs and all the youngsters are rebellious Meaning, uh, uh, even after 20, 2,500 years, we still say the same thing about teenagers. But all teenagers, when they cross teenager and then become interdependent, as I was told, uh, telling you earlier, up to 15 years, they were dependent. 15 to 25, they are independent. 25 to rest of their life, they become interdependent. They become all right. All notoriety, all mischief, they are all gone. They become good human beings and good citizens. And they do a good job as, a, as parents, as a, Mothers as fathers, as workers or officers or engineers or doctors or whatever. So I don't think society has changed much with regard to emotions or feelings or bonding or connectivity or uh, communication. The technology changed. How we, the, the medium through which I uh, talk to people changes, but uh, me and the student, it never changes. It's always the same. Any person who does a good job in teaching will always be respected. I have no doubt about it. Absolutely no doubt about it. Thank you, sir. Shall we proceed? Anything else? So, Tilandi should I think we can. Yes, so, we can end the session. Right. Really, thank you so much, sir, for uh, uh, very politely you clarified all our doubts and all our questions. We really, we teachers really will go ahead and step forward with the enriched mind through this Ikigai to enlighten the minds of our, all our students. So thankfulness is the beginning of gratitude. Gratitude is the completion of thankfulness. Thankfulness is may consist mainly of words, but gratitude is shown in acts. I request Dr. K. S. Suresh, Associate Professor in English and Coordinator of Internal Quality Assurance Cell Bharatidas and Government College for Women to deliver the vote of thanks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, it's my pleasant duty to say a few words um, representing the internal quality assurance cell of Bharati Dasan College. Uh, all of you know that the IQAC, uh, that is a short form of the internal quality assurance cell, um, uh, has a mandate of overseeing uh, our institution's goal of quality enhancement and sustenance. So we are trying to develop a system for conscious, uh, consistent and catalytic improvement in our college. The series of faculty enrichment programs that we have uh, started is one of the serious steps in this direction. And today's has been the inauguratory lecture, inaugural lecture of this series of programs. I wholeheartedly thank uh, Mr. Mutaya Ramanathan 
for having accepted our invitation um, to come online and uh, delivering an energetic uh, counseling session for, for all of us. Uh, as uh, many of the participants have remarked, I've been reading through the feedback, uh, the, the, the chat box there, and most of them have said inspiring, motivational, and all that. And I, I too uh, join all the participants in saying the same. It's been uh, truly inspiring, so and thank you very much. On behalf of uh, the IQAC, uh, the principal, and all the people who have participated in this online session. Um, I, I should say that all, you, have, you have transacted through the session, giving a lot of anecdotes, nice words about teachers. And I think it's been thoroughly morale boosting. Thank you very much, sir, for that session. I must uh, uh, thank our principal, Dr. Rajiv Sugumar, for uh, uh, setting in place, a, uh, putting in place a lot of uh, steps for this quality enhancement initiatives. And she's been uh, constantly at this. She's been trying to organize a lot of pro programs uh, for this purpose. Thank you very much, Madam, for all the support that you've been giving the IQAC. I must also thank uh, Dr. Chandra, who has been um, uh, who's been handling the technical aspects of of uh, this program and all the other programs that the IQAC has been doing over the past uh, year and more, uh, with a with a lot of elan, a lot of gusto. I thank her. Thank her. Uh, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I must also thank Dr. Agilande Shri Srinivasan uh, for uh, uh, masterfully uh, emceeing uh, today's session. Uh, thank you very much uh, the, um, uh, for, for, for the energy that you have put in Dr. Agilande Shri Srinivasan. I must also uh, thank uh, all the members of the IQAC of our team for supporting all the programs. I must uh, thank all the participants who have uh, uh, attended today's programs um, and uh, people who have enriched uh, themselves by today's session. I should welcome them to join uh, our programs in future as well. And uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Mutaya, Mutaya sir has also offered to um, uh, give a few other sessions for us. We'll be extremely thankful if uh, he comes again uh, on our platform. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I must use this opportunity to welcome him again to uh, uh, to our uh, okay. in future. So thank you very much, everyone. Uh, it's been nice having all of you here. Uh, meet you in the future. Again. Thank you very much. Okay, my special thanks to Madam Raji, Principal, and uh, Madam Michael Anteshwari and Mr. Karnataka, thank you, sir. all the other participants. I had a good time. Looking forward to coming again, talking more about psychology and self development. Right. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good day. Um, for me, it is uh, eleven thirty at night. Good night. Yeah. Good night, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Night. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Ig Govind Parajan K says in chat, thank you, toggle button, talk 27, Suresh, toggle button 25, Dr. Toggle, talk button, leave call.